Hi everyone, it's Erin. Welcome back to another plan with me. Today I'm going to be putting together my wellness spread for the week and wanted to just chat with you about my approach to wellness and why it's important to me while I work on this. I take a holistic approach to wellness, so this is my journal and it's about more than just diet and exercise. It also incorporates intellectual, spiritual, and mental health. And that's one reason I really like this recovery layout planner so much, because it's easy to put all of those things in one place. It even has some of those elements built into it with the mood trackers and the questions and the habit trackers and the gratitude section and all of that. So I may have mentioned before that I have a master's degree in human behavior. And actually, while I was in grad school, I focused a lot on mental health. And now, both in my studies and in my job, I've learned that there's a very strong connection between physical and mental health. If one of them is off, then it negatively impacts the other in some, like, crazy ways. Like, um, you know, your mental health is, like not doing great and your anxiety or whatever levels are really high, that's going to give you headaches and an upset stomach and even could lead to some more serious health issues. Likewise, if you're not physically feeling well, that's going to take a toll on your mental health as well. So the two are really closely connected to each other, which is... One reason that I want to take a holistic approach to health and wellness because you really can't separate one from the other completely. And this is extra important to me to pay attention to both of those things because I have both depression and anxiety. And so I really need to work hard to keep that under control. And when I have a family and a job where others rely on me all the time, then I really need to be on my A-game in terms of my health. Last year especially, I know it was really hard for everybody, but that was a real test to my overall wellness. And I'd say I rated, if I were to grade it, a C in how well I succeeded. When everybody not everybody, when the majority of the world went into lockdown, I was one of the ones who started working longer hours and my stress levels on the job rose exponentially and any sense of life balance that I had before, which I will admit was not great to begin with, became even more unbalanced. And it took a really big toll on my mental health and my physical health backtracked at the same time. I was doing pretty well with trying to work towards some health goals physically and things, and the stress levels kind of undid all of the progress I had made with that. So now I'm really trying hard to get back on track with it all. And in that process, the whole experience also just solidified for me my desire to live slowly and more mindfully. And I kind of felt that way before, but it definitely intensified through this whole last year and all of the increased stress and jealousy for the people who got to slow down a little bit because I had the opposite effect and I saw what a difficult thing it was and what a toll it was taking on me. So... I really truly believe that the ability to be mindful and live intentionally and slow down is essential to overall wellness and let me backpack track. I'm going to say, not say it's essential, but for me it's a very important component to what that means in my life. So. Like I said, I'm really trying hard to get back on track with everything, and this planner slash journal is one way that I can track my progress in all the areas that are important to me. 
So I use this to track my exercise, my mood. I use the sections in the dashboard site with the days as a place to have a short journal entry for the day. I use this to keep track of how I work toward my goals. I use it as a reading journal, whatever I read that day, because I try really hard to read at least a chapter of my book, if not more, every day. And then I also track my main habits that I'm working on that week. And I've also, in the past, used this for menu planning, but I've started putting my menu plan in my catch-all, so that's not why... That's why it's not here right now. <laughs> that said, I guess right now I'll just take you through some of the goals that I'm working on currently. So the big overlying goals I have for my overall wellness right now go towards two major areas. One of which would be working to just get physically healthy again. That means losing some weight, rebuilding some healthy eating habits, getting into an exercise routine. I'm actually working with a fitness coach who's helping me do all of those things and keeping me accountable, and that's been a really great thing for me. I'm doing workouts that were custom made for me a couple times a week. I'm working on quests. We call them quests. <laughs> yeah, to work towards more consistent nutrition and making better food choices and things like that. And so that's one component of it. And then bigger goals beyond that is along the way working towards being able to do some really cool things that I've always wanted to do, like a pull-up or some really cool like parkour moves. You know, every time I watch Lord of the Rings or something. I'm like, I want to move like Legolas. So, or we watch Marvel and I'm like, I want to move like Black Widow. So those are some of the long-term things that I just really want to do because I do. So those kind of tie into it as well. The other part of my wellness goals that I'm working towards right now are more towards the lifestyle slow living, mindfulness kinds of things. So that includes spending time each day to read and learn because those are things that are very important to me and I'm a very curious person and I want to know all of the things and I have a lot of areas of interest. So working towards that, I'm currently right now just reading a nonfiction book. No. I'm reading a fiction book that's just kind of lighthearted humor, but I also have books on my pile about slow living and leadership and neuropsychology and sensory processing and theology and all sorts of things. And so I have a lot of books to read and a lot of things I'm really curious about. So that's part of my wellness goals, is just taking the time to learn and grow. There's also things I want to learn how to do. I would consider that wellness as well, like becoming better at digital art so I can make some of my own planner stuff and learning some new things to be able to help me make some of the different kinds of videos that I want to try out and experiment with my channel a little bit. And then there's things like decluttering my house so that I can have a nice, clean, less chaotic space because I don't do well with chaos. And I have a lot of, I won't say that I don't do well with chaos. I don't do well with too much chaos. And I, and different kinds of chaos are better for me than others, if that makes any sense at all. The chaos I have at work is 
kind of stressful sometimes, but it can also be good because I thrive on problem solving and making things better and figuring out how to do things and all of that stuff. So I really love it. And if I don't, if things get too quiet in my job, then I get really bored and I wouldn't be happy. So chaos in that sense is good. But then when I come home, I want to be able to have things be simple and clean and low key. And I just want it to be a restful place. And I want to be able to just slow down and not be overwhelmed by stuff and see all of the things that need to be done. I want to be able to take the time to do what I want rather than having to come home and clean and run here, there, and everywhere to take care of this or that. And I just want to simplify everything. And so decluttering is a big part of that. So that's one of my wellness goals right now too, is just to work towards those goals of getting everything in my life just as simple as they possibly can uh, so that I can get to that point where I don't have to worry about those things. And all of those are wellness to me. And so i focusing on that. I'm also focusing on spending time in devotions and maybe doing some meditation and prayer every night. And that kind of ties in with the spiritual wellness for me. So that's some things that I pay attention to in my wellness journal as well. So all of those things kind of get thrown into this one spot, which is, again, why I love this layout, because it's got space for all of those things, and I can do it very easily. So anyway, that's a lot. <laughs> I will probably talk more specifically about some of these things in more depth in future videos. So if there's any of those areas that I've mentioned that you really want to know more about, let me know down in the comments and I will make a priority of talking about those in the video. Also, I'm just going to pause right now and just say how much I love these Jasmine, these princess stickers that are in this style. I'm using Jasmine this week. I've also used Rapunzel and Spreads in the before. And the artwork style kind of gives me this like 80s kind of vibe in a way, like comic book-ish style, which I think is super cool. And Jasmine's one of my favorite princesses anyway, so I love it, and the Happy Planner really knocked it out of the park with this one, and I hope that they do more in this style and do it with some of the other princesses that so far they only have only done big, like they did Moana and Pocahontas in this style, but they're like bigger, take up half the page things. I'd love to have them do some more of those and kind of the more average sizes too. So if you're listening, Happy Planner, then that's my suggestion for you because they're super cool. Anyway, <laughs> we're getting to the end of this plan with me. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to know more about my actual planning process, I have videos about that. So you can go check those out and some of my older ones. If you liked this, please consider subscribing and liking and all that jazz. And until next time, keep being awesome. Thanks. Bye.